Hello everybody, it's Ben Cooper here from Gems Wellington Arcale and the Vice Principal of Primary and today I'm going to show you very quickly how to log into your Seesaw account so you can continue your learning at home during this distance learning period. So Seesaw is a fantastic application that all the teachers will be sharing all the learning and lessons on for you to complete, including the activities. Another great thing about Seesaw is that teachers will be able to mark and respond to all the learning that you share with them over the next few weeks. So first of all, Seesaw is really easy to find. If you're on a computer, you can find it via Google by typing in Seesaw and the first thing that will appear on Google is Seesaw. If you click into the website, it will take you through to a page where you can click log in and present you with these three options. If you prefer to work on an iPad or a phone or any other device, either Apple or Android, you can of course go to the App Store where there are apps available. So here I'm on Google Play. If you go type in Seesaw into the Google Play or Apple App Store, you will see there are two different applications. For the children, it's really important they download the class application and again they will be presented with this screen here. When you're ready to log in as a student, you'll click on I'm a student. As part of the pack that will be sent home for you, you will receive your class's QR code. So here we can see for FS1A, you have instructions of how to download the application, click on I'm a student, and then you will be given a QR code that will link you directly in to your class. So when I'm ready to log in, I'll go back to the website or onto the application, and I will click scan. Then you scan your QR code. So you can either print the QR code out or what I would prefer to save a bit of paper and printing is get your QR code on your phone or a device that you can share. Hold it up to the QR code. Whoop. And it will log you straight in. It will then ask you to find your name. So find your name on the list of children that are in your class. Once you've found your name, Confirm that that is your name and you are logged straight in. Once you're logged in, you don't have to log out again. So you don't have to use the QR code every time. My advice would be to not log out. However, if you have more than one child at home that wants to use the same device, you can click on the name, go to the cog, and you can sign up very easily here. My advice would be is if at all possible, try and keep yourself logged in so that you don't have to go through that process every day when accessing the learning available. I hope this video has been helpful and again, if you are having any problems whatsoever, then please do get in contact with the school via the various communication sources that have been shared with you. I hope you have a very good day.